soap and liquids. <clears throat> when you're on the trail, you always need soap. Uh, our, my preference is Dr. Bronner's peppermint, and my wife likes the Burt's Bees. And these come in liquid form, and we planned on rebottling them into smaller bottles and then putting them in our drop boxes. But every time you get the drop box, you'd have a bottle, and you have to dispose of one of the bottles, and you'd be creating lots of trash. And not to mention, even the small bottles don't pack well into our boxes. The large and flat rate shipping boxes, they were basically full. So I tried to think of what I could do to eliminate um, the bottles and, and throwing away a costly bottle um, and how to package them better. So I, I looked back at this one, which is something that came from a hotel. It's a half ounce of shampoo. And so I used this idea along with, I had previously made maple syrup. These are packaged throughout our breakfasts with our pancake mixes that we're going to bake into giant pancakes. And uh, I utilized these ideas to come up with these. This is uh, one half ounce of my wife's Burt's Bees. And she gets one of those uh, a week. And this is four ounces, which we split of the Dr. Bronner's peppermint. So it is uh, relatively thin. It can lay right on top of the flat rate shipping. And uh, these are super thin and light. But if you were thinking about how you would package your soaps, I, uh, I did this so that we would uh, be able to fit them nicely in the box. And then when we cut these, we will fill up our own bottles uh, that we keep for the hopefully for the whole trip or until they break or bust. And uh, hopefully that's going to solve our problem of how to package soap and liquids uh, into our setup. Thanks for watching the video.